JSF is a framework provided by Java process community initially. Later on, it was come under the Sun Microsystems. Now, JSF is available with the Sun Microsystems clearly. Fine. Before going to see JSF completely, what exactly JSF, what is the purpose of JSF in Java application development? Why people are having JSF crazy in outside market? If you come for this, JSF is a framework. Basically, what is the meaning of this framework? It is not a technology. It is like a struts framework. It is like a spring framework. It is able to speed up application development and it is able to accelerate application development. It is not any technology, basically. It is like a framework, a tool to speed up and accelerate the application development. So for that purpose only, we are going to use JSF in application development. In Java J2E technologies, what exactly the location of this JSF? Where this JSF is available? We can identify the situation. If we come for this, JSF, if we come for this, Java is divided into three parts basically. Java is available in three parts. The first one will be J2SE or JSE or and Java SE. So different names are available. Next one, J2EE or JEE or Java EE. Next one, J2ME or JME or Java ME. So there are the three ports are available inside this Java package. J2SE mainly it is for standalone applications. J2SE in the sense Java to standard edition, it is mainly for to design standalone applications. And to cover fundamentals of the Java technology, we are going to use J2SE. Next one, Java to Enterprise Edition. Java to Enterprise Edition is mainly for enterprise application development. That means to cover server-side programming, we are going to use Java to EE. Next one, J2ME, Java to Micro Edition. Its main purpose is to cover micro programming best example for micro programming is to prepare mobile embedded softwares so j2se is mainly for standard edition for standalone applications j2ee enterprise edition for designing enterprise applications j2me mainly for micro programming in order to design mobile embedded softwares if you observe inside this j2se we are able to have the topics like introduction parts, OOPS concepts, next one, string manipulations, next one, exception handling, next one, multi-threading, next one, I.O. streams, I.O. streams, I.O. streams, next one, networking and next one GUI pods. These technologies are available under this J2SE pods. If we come for J2EE pods, here J2EE will start with servlets, JSPs, EJBs and some middleware services. Middleware services like JNDI, JTA, and JCA, and so on. Next one, J2ME, micro edition, some mobile embedded software, their specific uh, technologies will be available under the J2ME. So J2S is having these many number of things. J2E is having these many number of things. But uh, in entire J2EC and J2EE, no content like struts, no content like hibernate, no content like spring, no content like JSF. 
So, but what are all these things? If you come for this JSF and all these things, for example, struts, hibernate, and spring, and JSF, all these things are not the technologies which are provided by Sun Microsystems. Sun Microsystems has provided these technologies. EJBC is provided. Middleware services are provided. Servlets are provided. JSPs are provided. These are the technologies which are provided by Sun Microsystems under J2EE part. But Struts, Hibernate, Spring and JSF, these are not provided by Sun Microsystems directly. These are provided by some third party products. Some third party vendors have provided these products there clearly. So all these things are which one? These are the frameworks. These are not at all the technologies. These are the frameworks. Frameworks in a sense, just like we can understand, some products provided by some third party organizations. In which way Windows operating system is available? This is a product. In which way Aragil database is available? This is a product. In which way we have Apache Tomcat server? This is a product. In the same way, Struts, Hibernate, Spring, JSF, these are not the technologies. These are the frameworks or these are the products provided by some third party organizations care now. So this is nothing but which one? A framework. So before going to understand all these frameworks, first of all, what is a framework? What is the requirement of the framework in our application development? So framework is a semi-implemented application. It can be used to design enterprise applications as per our convenience. Framework is a free fabrication of software components that customers can, that we can reuse, that we can share, that we can extend, that we can customize as per our application simplification. Framework is a collection of tools which will provide very good environment to design enterprise applications in a simplified manner. So this is the meaning of this framework now. So framework is a semi-implemented application which will provide very good environment to simplify enterprise application development. Framework is a prefabricated software components that we can reuse, that we can customize, that we can share, that we can extend as per our enterprise application simplification. Framework is a collection of tools. Framework is a collection of APIs which will provide very good environment to design enterprise applications in a simplified manner. So this is a basic definition of the frameworks, what we have clearly. Next one, what are the various advantages we are able to get by using these frameworks? Frameworks will provide number of advantages in the application development. Framework is a semi-implemented application. That means if you observe enterprise application to enterprise application, 70 percentage of the implementation is very common. If you observe enterprise application to enterprise application, 70 percentage of the application development is very common. Let's say for example, if you take any enterprise application on the base of MVC, if you go over more number of enterprise applications on the base of MVC, where controller functionality is very common at each and every application, where we require some services. Internationalization service is required at each and every application in very common. Validation service is required at each and every web appli enterprise application in very common. In the same way, security service is required in very common. In the same way, exception handling service is required in very common. So some service, a set of services are very common at each and every enterprise application. Once these are common at each and every enterprise application, if we get these commonly used services as a ready-made one, automatically our development work will be reduced. If 70% of the implementation is already ready-made, then developer will think how to provide only 30% of the implementation. Developer no need to think cover 70% of the common implementation. Already if any product is providing 70% of the implementation is common, developer should think about only remaining 30% of the implementation care. So if we consider this situation, automatically developer work is reduced. All the commonalities are taken by developer as a predefined one from some third party components there now. 
right now in this particular situation developer work is reduced whenever developer work is reduced automatically development time is reduced when development time is reduced automatically development cost will be reduced when development cost is reduced automatically productivity will be increased productivity in the sense within the less time achieving more complex requirement here within the less time achieving more application requirement so automatically these many number of advantages we are able to get now by using frameworks in the enterprise application development we are able to get number of advantages now number one we are able to speed up the application development that means we are able to reduce application development that means we are able to reduce application cost development cost we are able to reduce then finally we are able to improve productivity so these are the various advantages we are able to get along with these advantages one more advantage with this frameworks is which one frameworks are able to provide a standard template to design enterprise applications frameworks will provide a standard template to design enterprise application not only standard template frameworks are able to provide a standard flow of execution for our application development a standard flow of execution if we go for mvc based frameworks there a clear cut flow of execution is available if you observe this struts framework for example what is the flow of execution is going on when we submit a request from a particular form to the server side first of all that request will be taken by controller that is action server action server will go to struts configuration file identify the names and locations of the action form and action class that means flow of execution is coming to action form class there where action form initialization is going on after completion of this action form initialization it will go to action class where business logic will be executed after executing business logic controller actions are led will identify the respective target jsp base then it will forward request to jsp base flow of execution is coming to a particular jsp base by the execution of that jsp base automatically some response will be generated to the respective client so in this particular scenario flow of execution is provided by struts framework clearly you know in the same way if you go for any framework a standard and predefined flow of execution is going on between the components which are available at the server side here in the same way if you go for jsf also inside the jsf also a standard flow of execution is going on internally you know so finally the conclusion is which one frameworks are able to provide a standard flow of execution between the components which are available in our server side here you know so these are the various advantages we are able to get from this frameworks mainly we are able to talk the main advantage of this framework is which one frameworks are able to speed up and accelerate application development frameworks will speed up and accelerate application development for that purpose only we are able to utilize framework a simple example given you know. without framework if we design any enterprise application automatically that project may take nearly 5 years of time but if we use frameworks to design the same application automatically development time will be reduced here as per that it will be completed within might be 2 years of time or 2 and a half year of time here clearly you know so this is the main advantage of this framework what we are able to get you now next one there are two types of frameworks in outside one is web framework another one is application framework two types of frameworks are available one is web framework another one is application framework web frameworks will provide very good environment to design and execute web applications application frameworks will provide very good environment to design any type of java jde applications web frameworks is exclusively for the sake of web application development but application framework is exclusively for the sake of enterprise application development any example for this web framework the main example for this web frameworks are which one like a struts framework and a jsf framework both struts framework and jsf frameworks are web frameworks the best example for application framework is spring framework spring framework is come under which one here application framework struts framework and jsf framework are come under which one like this web frameworks if you want to differentiate web frameworks and application frameworks it's a matter of differentiating like web server and application servers web servers will provide environment to execute only web applications but application servers will provide environment to execute web applications and distributed applications any type of jdv applications similarly web frameworks will provide environment to design 
web applications in a simplified manner. Application frameworks will provide very good environment to simplify enterprise application development which may include web applications, which may include standard op standalone applications, which may include distributed applications. Any type of application we are able to design by using application framework. Best example is Spring framework. By using Spring framework, we are able to design web applications, we are able to design standalone applications, we are able to design database interactive applications by using might be ORM module, by using JDBC module. To design web applications by using Spring Framework, we are able to use Web MVC modules. We are able to design standalone applications by using this is core module and aspect oriented module, AOP module here. So these are the various advantages we are able to get by using this application framework and by using this web framework. Here mainly JSF is a web framework. It is not at all application framework. It is a web framework clearly. It can be used to design web applications development it can be used to provide web application development it cannot be useful for any distributed application here there is a question again to design web applications already we have struts framework then what is the requirement to go for jsa framework what are the various differences we are able to get in between struts framework and jsa framework clearly now 